Hi all, uh, this is uh, Adam again, just uh, coming back and Happy New Year to everybody. So uh, today I just wanted to go through um, a recent purchase from a Quest 3, uh, which is the uh, Kiwi Designs uh, single point connection um, battery headset uh, and strap. And uh, the uh, the actual, I bought it as, as a package, it was on offer at the moment. Uh, I think it was £105. Uh, I think it was free delivery as well um, and the Kiwi design sort of stand um, as I've sort of got here and uh, got a bit of a bit of a monster works uh, really well uh, on my desk um, it comes with uh, both the, um, the, the controller um, parts of the stand obviously you can just put in they don't charge or anything and uh, obviously the headset with the, the, the charge uh, connection there. I've actually got disconnected from the headset at the moment, but I'll, I'll talk about that in my review. Um, overall, sort of pleased with it. I have include, will include on this video um, the unboxing of, so you can see what's actually inside the boxes for, for the units. And you can sort of see there, uh, overall, the one thing I was particularly impressed with was the packaging. I thought the packaging was really, really sort of top, top dollar. Um, uh, you know, it was sort of top draw rather. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it it really looks like uh, Meta's own packaging, if you know what I mean. You can see the Kiwi have, have so I tried to sort of keep it quite, um, I don't know if the right word, stock. Um, but you know what I mean. You can see that they've, they've really gone, tried to go with the, the Meta design of, of the, the packaging. I know that's daft because you just throw it away potentially anyway, unless you like me, you keep it in case you ever sort of resell it. But um yeah, you can see, particularly you can see where I've put a lot of effort and thought into this product. Um, the battery um, itself lasts really well. I mean, I have seen sort of some online reviews of um, managing to get six, seven hours out of it. Now, I haven't uh, seen anywhere near that, if I'm honest. Um, I I use this headset along with my children um, so my children have sort of been actively using it quite a bit during the day I've been working or whatever and then I come to use it at night now they have you know that one thing that they absolutely love playing like gorilla tag and they've had two to three hours potentially on that and then I've come to use the headset found that the, the actual battery on the um, the strap is depleted and I'm using the battery within the headset so then I'm down to about an hour so, so I think collectively tops i think you're going to get around four hours and um, still plenty of time to be quite honest you know i can't see me ever being uh in, in one session playing this for four hours for example uh i think i'll be just feeling i mean i don't stuff with motion sickness but i think i'll be feeling sort of quite sick to be quite honest uh, and like i said i don't generally have long gaming sessions like that anyway particularly in vr you know, I'm getting old now, so my legs start hurting in that when I'm sort of stood up, uh, dashing around and everything. So, you know, it just it's just not, not going to happen. So I, it's perfectly fine for me. But if, like I say, I just didn't want people, I don't think, you, you know, unless you are doing something that's, you know, putting the headset in power saver and trying to eke as much out of the battery, I, I can't see me getting six hours out of this, to be honest. Um, but even still, I think it's a great addition. Um there's a couple of things that sort of I was a bit surprised with, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm surprised uh, there is no battery button uh, on on the batteries to stop the battery, you know, charging the 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 headset itself. I think that's a bit disappointing. I think, you know, they might Kiwi may well have done that by design, um, but for me, um, uh, I don't know why. But yeah, they, they haven't included uh, an off button. Um, so when as soon as that's connected to the headset. It is charging and it will stay um i don't know long term whether or not that's going to damage the internal battery um for the quest 3 or not but i i personally uh you know i have it on charge and i'll leave it uh, and i've seen it you know it has completed the charge and i'll leave it for a few hours but i'll be honest i, I won't be leaving that for days and days just still connected sort of thing because I, I do think that will have an impact of some some kind, I guess. So uh, I am actually having to unplug it, which I, you know, personally, I think that's a bit of an oversight from Kiwi. I think, you know, there may be some other reason, but I, I think they should have had a, a power button on there, to be honest, just just so you know, I'm not, you know, disconnecting that cable all the time because, like I say, I, I personally think, you know, I would have liked to have just kept it connected, you know, connect and forget. Um, 
me personally, but there we are. But like I said, not everyone's the same. You know, overall, the, the, the strap itself, it, it, you know, it was relatively easy to fit. Um, if you've ever sort of disconnected, you know, you're literally just pulling the sides off here. Um, you know, it's a bit troublesome. Um, and I've got the AMVR uh, facial. Now, I know I did do a review on that. It's a bit mixed. Um, personally, I, I still like it. Um, I know I will be keeping it. Um, certainly, I'll, I'm interested to see what Kiwi Designs do about the facial interface. But, but for me, you know, th this this is brilliant. Um, particularly, as I said before in my previous video, is that you know my lad does uh, sweat quite a bit. So, um, as I say, having something that I can just easily clean, and again, it's Velcro. So again, this just comes off. You know, having that ability just to swap it out. I've say I do switch it between both the um, leather effects uh, sort of. Uh, facial uh, adapter um to, to like the, the smoother one that came with it um just if i'm not doing something that's that energetic i'll switch them because i do find the other one a bit more comfortable actually this this actually makes me sweat if anything um so it works yeah i'll use that other one but anyway back back on to, to what i've just like I say bought is i think overall it is a good product and so the the, the the unboxing video is just coming up shortly but i'm gonna say i'm, I'm really overall all pleased with it it is um adding that bit extra you know i'm not worrying about the battery all the time which is is, is the main issue isn't it so just know it, you know the quest 3 if i'm honest if you're playing um you know a good game with good graphics it just depletes so quick um you know i was struggling to get an hour and a half out of it to be honest so so yeah this this just adds you know i'm getting certainly three hours easy and uh, with the battery pack, uh, it does take a little while to charge. If I'm honest, that's one thing I have noticed. So, um, obviously, the charging point on there, I'll pull on camera. Um, yeah, that that's um, as you can see, I'll see you here. It connects onto there, it's magnetic. I'll plug it into the side. So, um, you know, you see it just snaps on there, dead, dead easy. Um, but like I said, that will charge the uh the headset and charge the battery at the back now you do see uh, i know actually i haven't got a cable in at the moment um but you can see the sort of lights on the back of the battery there and uh, obviously so it, it splits the charge now i'm not too sure what takes the priority and um, to be honest i got a funny feeling the battery on the back takes the priority so this the headset won't really charge up to the point that that battery is fully charged i've noticed this green light in particular goes off as if it's not getting anything when this is like fully depleted now i as i am i have no technical specs on it but that's that's my opinion is that it, it, it um, certainly charges the battery first once that's um completed then it will actually start charging the headset um that's what i've noticed um and like i said i've left this did it the other night probably two hours or so noticed that was still on charging on one bar as i went to bed so i just left it you know overnight i don't feel there's any danger of doing that left it going and then lo and behold by the time i got back you know um both both units would uh, charge fully so I, I have no idea really how long it's taken i've just noticed um you know i've had it probably what three four days now so I've not had it long enough to, to sort of time it or anything like that. But like I say, from my experience, this is the sort of thing that, uh, you know, it, 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 um, you would need to give it some, some considerable time to charge. It may well be you could just um, disconnect the power and plug it directly. So again, at the back of the, you've have got uh, the USB-C charger there. So you can plug that directly into there and presumably that would charge a, a lot faster than doing this split. Thing that's going on here um not sure um something i'll probably try and uh, put another video up if i get time but uh but you know overall great product um what i am using is the original uh, meta charger um once you slot all this together um dead easy uh, this literally the, the front bit here um I'm gonna pull it out now i will actually took the uh, you can see there that just slots in this all comes, uh, like I say, modular in the box. Um, but like I say, it's, it's dead easy. You can't really go wrong when you're putting it together. Um, and uh, yeah, so overall, great product. 
um, has literally, you know, this has solved uh, for me the issue. I'd, I've read online, um, people have said about the battery whining. I haven't had that at all. Um, I might have got lucky or they may well have uh, you know, fixed this issue. I did get this, uh, when did I get it? Um, last Friday. So, um, what date was that? It was the, was it the 5th? Um, but anyway, like I say, so there may well have, um, yeah, it was the 5th. So there may well have been some manufacturing issue they've had previously. So people that were getting them before Christmas, I don't know. Uh, but as I say, I haven't had that issue yet. I have read somewhere that Kiwi may well be sort of redesigning it. I, I'm hoping it's more of a firmware thing they need to do or something, but they may be sort of redesigning the battery slightly or the connection. I'm not too, not too sure what's, what's going on there. Um, but anyway, um, I haven't had that issue. So um, so overall, I'm really pleased with it. One thing would have been nice um, to have some sort of facility with, you know, being able to charge these. And like I say, the, the big advantage with this is this is a lot cheaper than the, the, the Metazone sort of desk sort of solution. I prefer this. I think it's more attractive. Uh, but other people obviously prefer the, um, the you know, the flat uh, uh, Metazone charger and um, wireless charger that connects to the points under here um i don't know it's each to their own i think that's about 130 pounds at the time posting this uh, i think this is a better solution more attractive and for me um as i say something that you know i could ask my children to to you know to I mean, when i had uh, 10 for example you know just slot this on i mean this this is the, the magnet's quite strong on this you know you could quite easily do that the, you know leave it and forget uh, and it's it, leave it charging for me to use it sort of thing whereas i know the other one the de the flat one that's the metas one is a bit fiddly uh, i've read that online i haven't used it myself but you know I, i've seen that so um, but yeah overall like i said really great product um so i'll post the the post the, i'll add to this video rather the um the, the unboxing videos and like i say shout out in the comments if you've uh, got anything you want to ask me and all that i'll try and come back to you this is the Kiwi Design uh, RGB uh, stand and head trap uh, with the battery. I'm um, really looking forward to um, reviewing these soon. Um, they come, I think, I, it's coming around seven days to the UK. Like I say, unfortunately, um, not much padding. So uh, the boxes uh, do get a little bit of battered in the corners. Uh, which is not great, if I'm honest. Um, a bit disappointing. It should really be in, you know, say, it depends how bothered you are about boxes. I generally like to keep things nice, looking nice and tidy. Um, but, yeah, it's a bit difficult when uh, you've got that just in a bowl or that envelope. And, uh, yeah, get battered through the post system. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a, a note to Kiwi there. Please, uh, I would say, you're better off putting them in, in a slightly additional... I know it's additional cardboard, but you know, just to sort of protect the overall packaging. Because uh, that, like I say, it's not great, is it, when you get them through the post there, uh, sort of back in the corners. Just hope, uh, you know, the reasonable all packaged with inside the boxes. So we're going for the head strap itself first. Um, quite a nice box actually. Quite very similar to uh, the, the the box you get for the Quest Three. Um, so you can see what they've tried to do here, almost sort of make it very much. I guess I don't know if it's because it's designed and been in partnership with Meta, but I uh, say the, the box itself very, very similar and uh, yeah, really really nice packaging inside. You know, thankfully, even though you know it's only in a sort of jiffy bag, um, thankfully you know the inside of everything looks to be uh, in, in good condition. So that's pretty much what you get in the box. You know, the head strap itself, you know, the rear sort of there. And uh, yeah, I'll be putting it together and uh, attaching it to my sort of quest headset shortly. Um, so yeah. So again, the vertical stand comes in a similar packaging to the Oculus. Um, again, very similar to the, to the original box. Looks like I do need to build it up as in pieces. So uh, again, you know, nice, nicely designed. Um, I've managed to install it. It's pretty much the same as what you do with the, the, the original um, strap. Um, it clips uh, on the side here, uh, two clips there, either side, 
and attach to, to a heavy unit. That was a bit tricky, the strap, to be honest, I couldn't film it while I was holding my phone, but then um, that's, we should take the, the uh, I've actually got the AMBR um, face guard on here, but you do need to remove that to, to gain access to sort of feed the strap through, the Velcro strap. Um, it's a bit fiddly, put, put, perhaps put like a slight bend into the, into the strap before you try and sort of feed it through, but that's sort of gone in sort of securely there. I've noticed it sort of, it's, my headset's already charged at the minute, but it is showing green and the lights at the back now. I don't know if that's all the time, if there's actually a way of switching the battery off so it's not sort of connected all the time. I don't really want that to sort of damage the battery, internal battery. Uh, I'll need to do a bit of reading up on that because that's been nice to have just had a, an on-off on switch at least on the back there. Um, as I say, I hope it's just no detriment to the battery long term. Uh, but yeah, I'll sort of build up this stand now and uh, film again. So yeah, I hope um, the the unboxing boxing videos rather um, do, does help you. Uh, as I say, please put into the comments any, anything you'd you'd like to know or anything I can sort of help you with. And so I'm trying to be honest. As I say, it, this is just me. I've not been paid by anything. This is paid you know, bought these products and will continue buying these products um, with my own money. Uh, and like I say, just try and give you guys an honest view, really. Um, some things I've got on, on the way, actually, from sort of China. There's a few things I've brought. I've um, brought the uh, sort of golf attachment, the AMBR sort of golf attachment. Uh, at least I hope it is, anyway. Um, but, yeah, I brought that through uh, AliExpress. That would be interesting to see if uh, I get that or if I get something completely random. Uh, I hope it's a genuine product. Uh, these these are the risks I guess that you take, uh, but it was you know complete, so certainly labelled as 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 a genuine product. So uh, looking forward to getting that. I've um, bought sort of table tennis rackets, the attachments that uh, will will attach to the uh, controllers. Uh, bought some silicon covers for the controllers as well, which will be coming and. Um, you know, lens cleaning kit and things like that so uh, I'll, I'll be adding some uh, additional videos uh, shortly so again like I, say, I hope they, they prove useful for, for people because again you know I am finding for with the Quest 3 accessories that there's there's a right random mixture of prices for things so I think some things are, are, are very overpriced for what they are so uh, I've been you know just cheekily having a quick look on aliexpress and seeing what i can find out there so uh, again i'll be putting some honest uh, sort of comments and views uh, videos rather um reviewing those products so see if they help you and i'll, uh, I'll actually put some links in into the description as well to see if that helps anybody um but yeah i really appreciate you watching uh give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe it'd be really great i think uh you know i'm enjoying seeing the facts that you know my your youtube journey i guess is a little bit uh, I've posted bits and bobs in the past. Uh, I do actually coach kids football and I've posted some videos for that before. Um, but as I say, I just, um, I'm enjoying this actually. So uh, I'll post a, a few more things and see, see if we can get a few views. Cause like I say, it's, uh, it's interesting. I've been a big YouTube watcher, I guess, but never really sort of uh, posted that much on here. So, so I appreciate you watching. Uh, like I say, give me a thumbs up, subscribe as, uh, as uh, everybody else asks. Um, yeah, and I'll speak, see you soon. Cheers.